All right, my sports to the bone family. What's up? What's up? A blessed day to you all. Hope you guys are doing okay. Yes, man. Have a couple of things to talk to you guys about as we anticipate that second and final test match against Australia. I'm going to talk to you guys about that. Plus, we see where Bangladesh, they were able to get the better of India once again. So, I think that is too much in a row that the Bangladesh team, they have actually outplayed India. We're going to talk about that. Plus, Marnus Lamashain, after his double century and century in the first test match against uh, West Indies, he has actually um, propelled himself to the number one spot where the ICC test ranking is concerned. Plus, we see where Steve Smith, is set to captain once again. So we're going to discuss all of these, my peeps. Just make sure you watch the video until the end. And if you have not yet subscribed, you don't know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right. I don't know how many persons are actually following this series between Bangladesh and India. I think I reported on the first ODI that was played a couple of days ago. We had um we had Bangladesh getting the better of India in that one. And today, earlier today, they were able to beat them again, my viewers and subscribers. Captain Rohit Sharma, he ended up batting at number nine. Think he had an injury to his finger. Came in and played a good um, innings as his team was trying to chase down uh, 271 that was set by Bangladesh. He made 50 out of almost about 18, but it was not enough. So let me just give you the Bangladesh innings, my peeps. They batted first and made 271 for six. Uh, we had Mehdi Hassan. He scored 100 not out of 83 deliveries. So 100 of 83. And then we had Mamadula getting 77 of 96. So those were the two guys that combined to make sure that the Bangladesh team made over 271 for six in terms of the bowling for india we had washington sundar bowling for uh he had three wickets malik that's the pace bowler he had two for 58 and you know um that is that is where it was my peeps in terms of the batting for bangladesh now when it was time for them to chase the indians to chase uh you know <laughs> they they had virat kohli opening it didn't work out at all my viewers he made he didn't make, make anything i think he made about five or so you know um shirish Aya, he did he didn't do too bad he didn't do too badly at all you know he ended up made it making 82 of 102 that is higher uh 82 of 102 missing out of a century axel patel had 51 of 56 of 25 actually uh 56 of 56 deliveries yeah man patel had 56 of 56 it was uh Roy sharma that came in the back end and was trying to take the team across the line but he wasn't enough my peeps he made 51 of 28 deliveries not out and his team ended up going down by five runs. Mehdi Hassan for Bangladesh after scoring, you know, he took two for 46. Uh, Hussein had three wickets and Shakib had his usual couple of wickets. He had two as they were able to get the better of the Indians. You know, we like to see it like that, number peeps. We like to see when teams that are ranked below other teams go out there and, um, you know, are able to secure victory. So that is how it went, my viewers and subscribers. Shout out to the Tigers. Big up to them. We like to see when the so-called underdog teams get the better of the bigger teams. So, you know, shout out to them. All right, uh, talking about West Indies now, my viewers and subscribers, we go into the second and final test match later on tonight, the pink ball game. And based on what I am seeing, Marquino Minley, he's in training, he's in the nets and he's putting in the work. So, you know, we're definitely hoping that he'll be able to get a, um, go out there. And if he gets a game, we're hoping that he'll be able to get a couple of quick fired wickets. There's not a lot of tape of him out there. There is, you know, tape of him bowling. He has been playing for a while now. He's not a young man in terms of, of sports. You know, he's probably around about 28 or so, somewhere there about. So, you know, he has been on the scene for a little while. So I am sure that they will probably look to see if they can see anything um, where he's concerned. The Australians, that is so. He will definitely need to be careful with how he's bowling. Uh, in that same game there, we are going to see Steve Smith captaining once again, my viewers and subscribers. You know, it, boy, I tell you, I don't know what is wrong with Australia cricket, you know. I'm not saying that you shouldn't forgive people, you know, but it's just a couple of years ago we had senior players like Steve Smith and, 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 and um, David Warner I'm um, getting involved with ball tampering and things like that and you know for them to for, for one of them to come and, and to be leading again it's it's it, 
uh, I don't want to say it doesn't look good because this is the way how they play their cricket, you know. Um, they always toe the line and toe the, the border in terms of what is against the law and what is um, unsportsmanlike. Uh, well, you know, whatever. Don't want to sound like we are bash them, but he really look away still. So Steve Smith is set to lead as uh, Pat Cummins is, Cummins is out injured. So, you know, we're going to see. We, we definitely want it to be a miserable return for Steve Smith at the helm. And uh, Marnus Lamachine talking about Steve Smith, his uh, second in com well, not second in command, but Marnus look like he's he's uh, he's trying to copy Steve Smith. You know, he he's copying him, copying him in the right way because his batting is working out, and he's now the number one rank Test batsman. Yes, my peeps, the number one Test rank batsman. Um, dethroning Joe Root. So Marnus Lamachine is at number one. Uh, Steve Smith after scoring that double century is at number two. Uh, Barbara Zam is at three. Joe Root moves down to number four. And where West Indies is concerned, Craig Brathwaite is the lone man anywhere close. You understand? He's at number 19. We're hoping that he will get another century in this second test match here. And um, coming out of the series, he will move up to higher, a little bit more up in the teens. So shout out to Captain Craig Brathwaite for always putting in the work. So yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting later on my viewers and subscribers. I didn't even remember to tell you um the, the bowler that is said to be in the plane 11 for Australia to replace Pat Cummins is uh, Scott Boland. And those who have been watching cricket and watching Australia's cricket since this man made his debut for Australia, you know, he has definitely been a force to be reckoned with. It's just that, you know, Pat Cummins is there and and Mar and uh Mitchell Stark and Josh Hazewood and these guys are probably a little ahead of him but in terms of his line and his length he's pretty good he bowls a good line he bowls a good length pretty disciplined um has good pace so you know he will definitely trouble the West Indians also if they don't be careful of him so you know um he's in the plane 11 so I think that is the only change my viewers and subscribers so based on what I am seeing so it is supposed to be Usman Kawaja um, David Warner once again with Marnus at three, Steve Smith at four, probably Travis Head at five, and um, you know Cameron Green six, Carey seven, and um, the work it go down the line there. So at least our bowlers they are aware of the, the the fact that you know there there won't be any other changes. So they got a chance to bowl at Marnus and Steve and these guys in the first game. So hopefully they will be able to come better. Osman Kawaja did not get a century he had in this he got in the sixties. You know, usually this is a man that likes to score centuries when he gets an opportunity for Australia. So um in this second test match or whether it is first or second innings, we don't want him to get any century. You understand? So the aim is to make a early breakthrough when we're bowling, get rid of David Warner or Kawaja, get the other guys in and then we work it from there. So yeah, go and leave it right here for now my peeps. Go and big up on yourself and we'll touch base later on. Zane.